Hello friends, in this video, I am going to discuss about common drain MOSFET and this is going to be a very important topic. You should understand this topic with clear concept. Okay, so let us start. The basic configuration of common drain MOSFET is drawn here. See, in the drain of the NMOS, obviously this is NMOS because the arrow, the current direction is showing the arrow is coming out of the source. So obviously this is NMOS, right? Now in the drain, we are providing VDD. Okay, VDD may be 5 volt or 1.8 volt dependent on the uh, different NMOS. Like uh, if you consider 90 nanometer length NMOS technology, then you should not exceed the value of VDD more than 1.8. These things you know, right? So basically VDD is DC voltage, which is high. And we are applying input in the gate. Okay, so V in is shown here and we are taking the output across one resistor and ground across one resistor. Basically, we are taking the uh, output. This resistor is RS. Why RS? Because see, this resistor is basically connected with the source of the NMOS, right? So, this is called RS. That is the resistor connected with the source and ground. Okay, so basically, we are taking the output from the source. Now, see you can easily understand why the name is common drain because input we are providing in the gate output we are taking from the source and in between input and output obviously drain is going to be common so this is called common drain mosfet clear now let us try to analyze that what is the transfer characteristics graph for this circuit okay that is what is the output versus input graph see to analyze that let us first Put here one voltage source which whose voltage value is basically V in. So if you do that from this circuit, we can get this circuit, right? Just I have placed there one V in. Okay. Now see what I have done here. Here across this gate to source, obviously VGS drop is there, and you should have a good attention while determining the polarity. As this is in MOS, so obviously gate will get positive polarity because you know always we apply positive voltage in the gate for NMOS right then only channel will go channel will form if VGS is greater than equal to VT which is the threshold voltage for NMOS that is different issue so basically you should understand why I have given positive polarity in the gate because for the NMOS gate always we connect with the positive potential obviously source has to be given minus because for one voltage source obviously one positive polarity and negative polarity should be there so if we are providing positive to one other should be negative right so basically you should understand why i have given vgs polarity like that now just simple case you have to apply kirchhoff's voltage law in this loop and you will get minus v in plus vgs plus v output equal to zero right that's what we get now, if you rearrange, we can get V output equal to V input minus VGS. Okay. So, basically, if we want to plot the transfer characteristics, characteristics graph, that means output versus input graph. Right. So, in the Y axis, we should plot the output. In the X axis, we should plot the input. Now, if you replace V output by Y and V input by X and VGS by C, VGS about VGS, we don't know. Uh, till now, we don't know about VGS. Later, I will discuss in this video only. So, if you replace like that, you will get Y equal to X minus C graph. C graph. Okay. Now, see how I have drawn here. This is the transfer characteristics graph for the common drain mode. See what I have done. This observe the mouse pointer. See this straight line is basically V output equal to V input. Just I have considered this uh, Y equal to X type straight line so that we can easily draw our transfer characteristics graph. Now see our transfer characteristics that is output input is relation. Output input relation is not following Y equal to X. It is following Y equal to X minus C. Right? Where C is VGS. So obviously that graph will be like this you can say from this expression itself v output equal to v input minus vgs so our original graph which is uh, shown by this dark blue color line will be vgs unit below the v output equal to v input graph and it will look like this okay now see you can tell me one thing that 
you know from the concept of straight line y equal to x minus c curve basically goes to negative uh, y direction also and it cuts the y axis at minus c when x equal to 0 and it goes on like this that is fine but why i have not extended this graph in the negative direction that is the question and here you should understand the logic clearly there are some reason why i have not drawn v output as negative why i have drawn only for positive v output see from the circuit itself you can clearly understand we are providing positive dc voltage in the uh, drain right now we are keep on increasing this input voltage from 0 to high value suppose vdd from 0 to vdd we are uh, increasing our input voltage now see what is this v in basically for this nmos this is basically gate voltage for this nmos already we are providing uh, positive dc voltage in the drain and we are increasing the gate voltage from uh, 0 to high values okay we are keep on increasing the gate voltage from the basic concept of electronics itself you can say it is p output will be equal to current flowing through this resistor that is id that is see id is drain current which is flowing that will come as is in this case in the source and is in rs is basically v output right because output voltage is equal to current flowing through this resistor rs into rs that's what ohm's law says v equal to i into r so basically uh, it there are two possibilities either the nmos will be in cutoff or the nmos will be in on it may be linear or uh, saturation region that we are not going to discuss but there are two possibilities only either on or off if vgs is less than vt then mosfet will be uh, nmos will be cut off otherwise it will be on then it may be triode or saturation that we will not consider here so see basically what i want to say if you keep on increasing via input uh, what will happen either uh, if the mosfet is in cut off then no current will flow so obviously from uh, with rs no current will flow so across rs the voltage drop will be zero so v output will be zero if this MOSFET is in cutoff. Now whether if the MOSFET is in on state, whether it is in linear, when you keep on increasing the input voltage or gate voltage, so obviously after a certain gate voltage it will come into linear then saturation like that. So whether it may be in linear or saturation, that is not our uh, point of interest. You should understand this thing, whether as soon as the MOSFET will be in on state, then some current will flow through uh, from drain to source right? ID, that is drain current will flow. So obviously, uh, via the RS, some current will flow. So obviously, some output voltage you will get. Okay. So basically, V output will be positive if the MOSFET is in on or V output is zero when MOSFET is in off state or cut off. So basically, what I want to say, V output can take only two type of values either it will be zero or it will be positive value when it will take positive value and some current will flow that will, if i current flows then v output will to i into r so it is positive value that means v output can never take any negative value that's what i want to say okay so from this discussion it is clear that v output can never take any negative value right so why i will expand the graph in the negative direction so that the v output versus v input characteristics I have drawn only for uh, positive V output, that is positive Y direction, not for negative Y direction. So Y equal to X minus C type curve only, but you should not expect the graph in the negative direction. That's what I want to say you. Here, but see, now we should understand this point A. We have to understand what is the value of this point A. Okay. So basically, uh, you can, uh, instead of A, if you consider this mathematical expression, y equal to x minus, two, uh, x minus c, so if you put y equal to 0, because see for this case, if you consider this region, y equal to 0, right? So if you uh, put y equal to 0, x will be equal to c. So basically, v input equal to c. So what is the value of this c? That is this point, uh, you should understand. So see, I told you, the output voltage will be either positive or zero when the output voltage will be zero again check output voltage will be zero if the mosfet is in cutoff when mosfet is in cutoff nmos when it nmos is in cutoff when vgs is less than vt right 
So let us try to write that expression. VGS is less than VT. Now VGS split that. VAB equal to VA minus VB. Similarly, VGS equal to VG minus VS. So VG minus VS less than VT. Now see, here for this configuration VG, that is gate voltage is nothing but V input and VS, that is source voltage is nothing but V output. So replace that. Fine. So you will get V input minus V output is less than VT or V output greater than V input minus VT. Right. This expression we can get from the cutoff condition. And if you take again uh, V output as Y and V input as X, so we can get Y greater than X minus C. Okay. Now see, this is the expression we got for cutoff. Right. Now see, cutoff means this region. Because no current is flowing, so that output is going to be zero. When no current flows in cutoff region, for this region, this condition is holding y greater than x minus c. So basically, what is the value of y for this region? For this region, basically, we can say that uh, the uh, uh, y value is basically zero. So basically, replace that, so we can get y equal to zero. So if you replace in this expression zero greater than x minus c. Or we can write x less than c. Where what is c from this expression? What do we have written? V output as y, v input as x. Obviously, vt as c, right? So it just replace c by vt, and we can get x less than vt. Okay. So from this mathematical expression, it is quite clear that if x, what is x? X is basically c input is replaced by x. So when input is less than vt, input is less than the threshold voltage for n mos, then y that is output is going to be zero. That's what we have derived from the mathematical concept, right? So basically, we can say that this point A, see the left hand side of A. For all these points, the output is zero. So basically, we can say the a point is, is basically VT or the threshold voltage for NMOS because see from the expression itself we are getting if X less than VT that means from the expression we can say if input is less than VT okay then only output is going to be zero or the MOSFET will be in cutoff and if input is greater than VT then the output will be a positive value and it will follow the relation V output equal to V input minus VGS right. So basically, this is the overall graph for the NMOS common drain mode. Okay, you should understand this concept very clearly that before VTH, that is before the uh, left hand, that is uh, for the left hand side of the threshold voltage or when input voltage is less than the threshold voltage for NMOS, the output is going to be zero. And if V input is greater than threshold voltage, then the output and the input graph uh, the, the output is following this type of straight line with respect to input. Okay, so this is basically the transfer characteristics for common drain mode. Fine. Now see one more thing. We often say this common drain circuit as source follower. Why we say source follower? You can clearly understand. See, when V output equal to V input, V output is nothing but Vs. So that means V output equal to V input is basically we can say uh, V of source equal to V of gate. That graph is like that. And this our original transfer characteristics graph is almost following this input equal to output graph. Right? That means source is almost equal to the output. Or we can say output equal to uh, output almost equal to the input. Okay. So, so we can say uh, what we can say that this is called source follower because the output or the source voltage is following the input or the gate voltage. Okay, so it is also called source follower, just same like emitter follower or common collector amplifier. Okay, if you want to check the derivation of common collector amplifier, please check the link I shall post there. I have already derived in my previous video 